That a President Uhuru Kenyatta would on Friday emerge from behind these state house walls to address the nation in the absence of his second in command threw many into clouds of speculation. Thank you very much. They have in the administration always treated the public not just to a show of a united front but a bromance as well. President Kenyatta's announcement of part of his cabinet coincided with his DP's return to the country after his Christmas family vacation. And as speculation continued to mount, Ruto would Sunday take to social media to dispel any talk of a rift between him and his boss. Ruto tweeting, Kenyans more so jubilee should avoid useless political debates about positions including 2022 and focus single-mindedly on delivering our manifesto voted for by the people while allowing the president the space to perform his constitutional duty to assemble the team for us. It is understood that the constitution of the second term Jubilee cabinet was one the Jubilee honchos kept close to their chest, Kenyatta and Ruto in close consultation all through. But it is the delicate balance between legacy and succession politics that has continued to inform debate. The second phase of the cabinet unveiling expected within the next two weeks with the administration keen to take off by February. The fate of the 13 cabinet secretaries, Citizen TV can authoritatively report, is also not foregone. Some of the 13 are going to survive the acts. Some confirmed as being on the exit door. The Kenyatta Ruta duo is taking precaution to ensure they constitute a team that is all work and delivery. The Big Four action plan, a key plank in determining how the seats will be filled. Jubilee leaders as well quick to come to Kenyatta's defense. Let's stop creating issues that don't exist. We, we, we are satisfied with the way the president is doing it. We don't have that mindset of uh, Nusumkati. And I think that is a hangover you guys are suffering from, that this guy and that guy have to sit and do. No, the president and the deputy president are working together. Ministry of Labor and Social Services. Because of NSSF, because of the retirement, pension schemes, social security of our people. Like in Wasweke here in East Africa. East Africa has nothing to do with workers. Majority leader in the National Assembly, Aiden Duale, tweeting, We have one government which is led by Uhuru Kenyatta. All of us, including me and the DP, are behind our leader and we endorse every decision he takes. Those who are speculating on the absence of the DP want to create a controversy where there is none. Jackie Marie Bay, Sunday Live.